so beautiful people how are you all doing so for today's tutorial we'll be looking at how to sew how to sew a 180 degree hair plum gown or we can say a flare gown depending on what you want to call it so for this i'll be folding my ankara in the bias form when i say bias form i mean i'll be folding my ankara in the rectangular form spread your ankara out then pick one side of the Ankara or pick one edge of the Ankara. Pick one edge of the Ankara. You can fold it like so. Or you can also pick this other end of the Ankara and fold it like so. This is what I mean by bias form. So it depends on you. If you want to fold it this way, if you want to fold it that way. The waist measurement of this person is waist 35 and the full length I'm working with is I'm working with the full length of 47. I'm working with the full length of 47. So let's start. My our waist is 35 inches. I'm going to be adding 2 inches to it for seam allowance. 2 inches, that's 37. 37 divided by 4 will give me 9.25. 9.25. So I'm going to find a place where my 9.25 can accommodate. I'll look for this. Where my 9.25 can accommodate. So let's say somewhere here. Yeah? I'm going to shock it and I'll chuck. So from that place, I'll take my tape through. And measure what it gave me from the tip of the Ankara to the place I'm I just marked now this is 10 inches so I'll start ruling it out I'll start marking out 10 inches same thing 10 inches 10 inches 10 inches I'll connect all the lines together. Now, after connecting all the lines together, remember we said our waist is 35 inches plus 2 inches allowance for seam allowance, which is 37. 37 divided by 4 will give us 9.25. So I'm going to make sure that this that I just draw out here, we accommodate my 9.25. This is 8. This is eight. This is eight like so. So I'm going to come down again. I'll measure, let's say, 11 inches until I get my 9.25. 11 inches. 11 inches. I hope you can see clearly. 11 inches. Then I'll chalk it out. I'll also measure the roundness of it to see if I can get my 9.25. This is 7. This is 8. This is 9. Which is still preferable for me. Or I can come down a bit. Watch what I do. Gent gently. So let me measure what I have there. This is 6. This is my 9.25 exactly. This is 9.25 exactly. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'm, I'll measure a skirt length. Remember I said the skirt length is 47 inches. So from here, I'll take my 47. I'll start taking my measurement of 47 inches. 47 47 47 I hope you can see what I'm doing Take your 47 inches all round 47 I'll go again 47 47 Then I'll cut it out I'll cut it out. I'll follow all the markings I have on the Ankara. Now, this is my 180 degree 
flare gown or peplum gown. This is how you get your 180 degree flare gown, peplum gown. Now you can see that there's a shortage here because Ankara is by 45. So what we are going to do is we are going to add to this to get the exact fabric. I'm going to add to this. So what I always do is especially when you are working with patterns you can see this pattern is different from this pattern so you find the place that has the same pattern i hope you can see it find the place that has the same pattern then you place it on it like so the place that has the same pattern remember to place it on half an inch or one inch because by the time you join it it will not be short you can see me putting the label on the label. This is roughly half an inch. Then half an inch. You pin them down. Take your pin and pin down. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Pin it down. Gently raise it up to pin down. It must be on it. You pin them down like so. You pin it down like so. I hope you can see it. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it over like so. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll flip it over. I'll flip it over like so. Then I'll cut out. Now this is it. You can see, you can see how it came out. It came out looking nice. Now this is for the front. Then we also go for the back also. Remember, you fold your Ankara in a bias form. Fold it in a bias form or in a rectangular form like so. The difference between the front and back of a skirt is the zipper. The zipper allowance at the back. That is the only difference between a front and sometimes it varies it also depends on the style of the Ankara but for this gown the difference between them is just the zipper allowance you fold it like so fold it now you take the front piece you place it you place it on now notice what i'll be doing for the front piece because i said the difference between the front and the back is the zipper allowance i'm going to be leaving one inch for my zipper allowance you can decide to leave half an inch you can also decide to leave one inch i'm going to be leaving one inch for my zipper allowance one inch straight down I hope you can see clearly. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I hope you can see what I am doing. Like so. Make sure everything, everything is straight. And check. This is one and a half. Shift it. Raise it up a bit. Raise it up. Now I've cut out the back piece as you can see and this is it. 
then we have the one inch allowance for the zipper so i'm going to remove the front piece now now same thing we did for the front piece remember that i said ankara is by 44 by 45 rather and this we have to add back to it to get the exact same measurement for the skirt remember if you are using a if you are using an ankara that has pattern you have to check out the pattern before cutting it out also remember to leave half an inch or you overlap it by half an inch half an inch that half an inch will be for your stitching for your joining so that by the time you join it together one will be shorter i hope you understand what i mean so you take your pin and you pin it overlap each other by half an inch or one inch raise it up gently it's actually simple to cut then I'll flip it over like so flip it over them up properly Wait. then you also cut it out indicates your zipper allowance the side which your zipper is going to stay so that there won't be a mistake i've already indicated where my zipper allowance will be i notch it so i'm going to i'm going to slit it into two and that is how you cut a 180 degree peplum or flagon if you find this video helpful give this video a thumbs up like subscribe and share thanks for watching thank you